this video is going to be about my trigger mod. And I posted that exact same video on Instagram and all the guys went crazy for a tutorial. So here we are doing the tutorial. Now let's go over some basic uh, knowledge about this modification. Now this mod is only meant for V2 gearboxes. I'm going to work on other gearboxes, but right now V2 only. So your MP5s with V2s, M4s, scars, anything with V2 gearboxes, it'll work. However, this can only work with AEGs with a micro switch system or HPA with a trigger board system with a micro switch. So micro switched guns only. So for example, we have an AEG here. This is the Ares Emoba with the ECFS micro switch system, as we can hear. The micro switch. Another great AEG with a micro switch is the Matrix G2 Sports Line and, or any HPA engine with the micro switch system. Uh, now we've gone over what it is compatible with. Let's get right into the materials and equipment you'll be needing for this modification. All right, so these are the materials and equipment that you'll be needing for this modification. Now, obviously, you'll need your V2 gearbox uh, with HPA or AEG. As long as it has a micro switch system, it'll work. Then you'll need an awl. This is nice for drilling purposes. It will lead your drill bit into the hole. Then we'll need a power drill. I like to use this 1 16th uh, drill bit. Then any V2 trigger, I'll be using a stock V2 trigger just to show you the prowess of this modification. Then you'll be needing some sandpaper. I like to go with a lower grid because it's more forgiving just in case you over sand. So you don't over sand. And then you'll be needing these two super small screws. Now, if you are having difficulty finding these two screws, do not worry because you can easily find them in cheap iPro, like this protective iPro. You can just easily take out the screws located on both of the joints of the glasses. And if you still cannot find them, I have a link on the description down below of this screw set that leads you to Amazon that you can buy. They're meant for glasses, but hey, they're the same size as these screws. So once you got all these material, we are ready to start modifying. First step, you want to get your awl and you're going to put your awl right here on this trigger portion. You're going to put it right there. Make sure you hold it tight. You're going to get a mallet. I'm going to be using a hockey puck because it, it has the same weight as a mallet and it just works just fine. And you want to make sure you have it right here, double check, and you're going to place it right here on the trigger. Hold it tight because once you hit it, that's it. And you're going to hit it once. Then you're going to release, check, and you're going to check the dent that you've made. It should be right here. Once you have a good placement, hit it more than once. Okay, keep repeating until you get a good dent slash cradle. All right, after awling after a bit, you should have a nice divot slash cradle inside of your trigger now. Now double check that this cradle slash divot lines up with this portion of the gearbox right here. Because essentially when we drill, we need to have the screw right here hit the wall of the gearbox right here. After you have confirmed that the divot is hitting the wall of the gearbox right here, then you want to pick up your trigger again. Next, you want to grab your awl again. And this time, you want to put a dent on the lever of the trigger right here. This point contacts the wall of the trigger of the gearbox right here. All right, after you've confirmed that your divot slash cradle lines up on both holes and both sides of the wall, then you can finally get your power drill and your one over 16th uh, drill bit. Go into the cradle you have made very nicely and you can drill very easily. Just like that. Ta-da! Don't do that.
Now after that first hole, we can see we have a clean hole. Obviously it's not in the center, it doesn't matter because there's not a lot of stress going through the trigger. Now we can flip it over and now we're gonna drill this side. All right, so for this side, make sure you don't drill through the whole trigger, That that's really stupid. And uh, only go in when the drill bit enters the trigger about three millimeters into the trigger and you should be good. So now we have a hole on this side and that side. All right, now you can put away your power tool and get rid of this metal dust. Okay, so the first step is you wanna screw in the screw right here. So obviously I screwed it in and for you people that don't have a affirmative fit, don't worry if it flops out. As long as it stays in while it's in this position, that is all that matters. Okay, so now we're going to plug in the battery and we're going to do the guess and check portion of the gearbox. Finally, after all that tuning, this is perfect. This is what you ideally want. When I pull the trigger and the solenoid goes off, the trigger is not letting me go back any further. Watch. See, it's not letting me go back any further. I'm literally shaking the table. I'm pushing it. Now, all we need to do is adjust the this slack right here, and the trigger should be just good now. All right, open back up the gearbox, and now we're gonna be using the top screw. However, I have lucked out on this trigger, and I do not need any modification for this one, so I can just screw this one in, just like that. Then I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna close the gearbox now. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Now, you don't need a trigger spring. The reason why this only works for micro switches is because we are using the retention slash springiness from this micro switch right here. This is what is causing the trigger to spring back because Right when we put a trigger spring on it, your trigger is going to become very stiff and that's and you're not going to be able to shoot the trigger or shoot the gun quick anymore because right when you put this guy in, it's going to make everything stiff. So just the trigger itself, uh, I think I'm just going to touch it with super glue in here and I think we should be good to test this now. All right, the trigger I have built is finally done and is now installed into here. The trigger that you saw in the intro, or the one that I put in my Instagram video, is in here. This is just to prove to you that the trigger I built for this video functionally works uh, just the way it should. So let me just show you. And it does have a backstop, so I should push it. This is the far that it's going to go now. And then we have a little bit of a double trigger. Faster on this side, but... And then you also have full auto. And then uh, safety also works as well. Thank you. 